Hello everyone, this is BattleBots Explained, and I'm here back again with a Robot Arena 2 DSL. Guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now, and also the second edition of How to Build the Best Bots is available on Amazon now, so please go check that out. So, I was thinking about uh, different ideas, when I was thinking about different ideas for this series, I thought, you know what, there's this one robot that I saw recently in DSL that I should probably... Do a quick little video on, and this is old robot is called Volcanic, as you guys know. This is the DSL form of him, and I may concentrate on him in a future video. Volcanic is not the focus of this episode. The focus of this episode is a DSL AI robot. I don't know if you guys actually know about this particular robot. More than likely, some of you do, and some of you don't. This thing is called Pontoon. This pontoon thing, for a while, was one of the hardest robots for me to deal with. I mean to fight and defeat in DSL. And let me show you guys, for those of you who don't know what pontoon is, let me show you guys exactly why pontoon is such a mess to deal with. The reason why he's a disaster is because he can fly. This is a robot in DSL that can fly. It can fly, it has the hammers on its sides, it has a propeller in the back, it has a, that big spinner in the back, and it's covered in spikes, meaning that I'm not going to be able to really touch it without taking a decent amount of damage. So, for the longest amount of time, I was not able to defeat Pontoon. I tried with all the robots I had, I've even tried with the Titan Ultimate, who probably had the biggest chance, and those horizontal smashing hammers just squished Titan Ultimate and rip the disc off, so clearly there was no way for any of the robots I made to be able to defeat Pontoon. It was nearly impossible. This thing is just so absurd in the game, and obviously Pontoon is impossible to build in real life, at least by the standards of robot combat today. But in DSL, this thing is so stupid and so invincible. So for the longest time, I decided, you know what, I gotta find some way, I gotta find some way to defeat this stupidly looking flying bug. Well, I finally made a thing to defeat Pontoon, and it's called Thing to Defeat Pontoon. Yep. <laughs> now, if you guys are wondering, this Thing to Defeat Pontoon came from, I know it looks ridiculous, the idea for this robot came when I was finding, uh, I was finding Pontoon with, uh, let's see which one was it, it was Terabyte, the Terabyte that I made in DSL, and I was thinking, you know what, if I could just jack Terabyte up a few, about a foot or so, I would be able to tear Pontoon apart. Well, that's basically what I did here, I just jacked up, I, I just put a big body underneath, put the same type of shell that uh, Terabyte has, and boom, we have a robot that should be able to defeat Pontoon. It's covered in all sorts of weapons. It's covered in uh, sledgehammers, which have a lot of health in this game. It also has these uh, battle axes to reach even higher. And probably more, most importantly, at least as far as the design goes, it has these uh, stabilizing rods. Guys, there is a big reason for why I have those stabilizing rods. Because those stabilizing rods are basically what are keeping this robot intact. At least as far as, you know, not toppling over and stuff. Now, what's pretty interesting about this- oh goodness, I can't really see. What's really good and interesting about this robot is it's nearly at the perfect height to hit pontoon constantly. Which of course is exactly what I needed to happen. And also, it's nice and stable, so he's not going to be able to tip me over. But again, most importantly, I'll be able to reach him. So how about we go quick and see. Let's see if I can defeat Pontoon with the thing to defeat Pontoon. I'm going to go into the Robot Wars, the classic arena. I'm going to, let's see, select thing to defeat Pontoon. And Pontoon. Let's see if this will actually uh, work. Now, I don't know how many of you guys already knew about Pontoon's existence, but for those of you who have known all, all along that this thing exists, I would really like to know, wh 
were you actually able to defeat Pontoon? If you guys, if you have played this game, if you have found a way to defeat Pontoon yourself, then please comment below and tell me how you did it, because this design here is the only way I found so far to reliably defeat Pontoon. I just had to keep on just uh I had to make a really, really tall full body spinner on a pedestal, basically. That's pretty much what uh thing to defeat Pontoon is. But as you can see, it is very, very effective. I'm ripping the armor off. Soon I'll be ripping the hammers off. This thing is really the Pontoon Killer. I made this thing exclusively to defeat Pontoon and nothing else, because really this robot's not going to be able to defeat anything else in this game except for Pontoon. Well, come to think of it, maybe it'll do good against huge, but I mean, that's just about it. Now, one thing about Pontoon, besides the fact that he flies, that made me extremely upset when having to deal with him. Why did the refrigerator fall? Why did the refrigerator just fall out of nowhere? We weren't even there. But anyway, the thing that is really frustrating about finding Pontoon, once you knock the armor off, you see, those two discs that are kind of, that are underneath Pontoon's body, those are the pieces that actually make it levitate. Those are the little hover, the little hover parts. Though, guys, those pieces are indestructible. Not only are those pieces indestructible in DSL, but even worse, if you touch them and if you attack them, see? See those red numbers? You actually take damage. So every time that I attack those particular parts, I actually take damage for attacking. Guys, Pontoon... Oh, goodness gracious, I can't even pronounce his name right. Guys, Pontoon, he is the most absurd, cheap robot than I've ever seen in any robot combat game ever, and I've played probably almost every modern or semi-modern robot combat game in existence, so this thing is absolutely cheap, it's absurd, and so far, building thing to defeat Pontoon has been the only way I was able to defeat this thing, but as you can see, I am tall enough to reach him and do damage to him whenever I can, whenever I'm not hitting that particular side of him. Okay, just should be a few more... Actually, come to think of it, it doesn't matter if I knock him out. I just need to win on points and win the decision, so that's fine. Oh man, guys, but let me tell you, when I first saw Pontoon, I was thinking, how in the world am I supposed to defeat this thing? And now, I actually found a way. This is the only way I've been able to reliably defeat Pontoon. I had to make this absurd, giant, gigabyte on a pedestal. Oh, goodness gracious, no... You know what, doesn't matter, because I technically defeated Pontoon just on points. I'm going to hit him anyway. <laughs> I'm going to hit Pontoon anyway. Oh, goodness. Important thing is there, I did defeat Pontoon. Got more points than him, so I won the match. <sighs> so, I was able to defeat Pontoon, and the weird design did work. Guys, please leave, please, guys, uh, comment below if you already knew about Pontoon and if you were able to defeat it. And please tell me how you were able to defeat it, because I would really, really like to know how you guys were able to if you could. And so, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, DSL video. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Also, again, the uh, second edition of my LEGO ebook is now available on Amazon. I will put that link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.